for all you Minecraft players out there, do you guys ever have problems installing mods, even though I already made a tutorial video? See, I understand that, uh, first of all, I may not have the same computer as you. I have a Macintosh, and a lot of you probably have a Windows PC. And while they are kind of different, they do have similarities, but, you know, they're still kind of different, especially the, uh, the folders and all that stuff, all the, the insides of the operating system, they work very differently. And so, watching a video of me do it on the Mac, it may not be the easiest for you to understand. But, I have a solution. And this isn't just for those people, it's for people who are just having any kind of trouble installing mods. I have this thing called the Magic Launcher. And it's a mod manager and a, a game launcher. So what it will do is it'll start your game. That's that's as basic as it can go. It can it can just start your game. That's all that's all it needs to do. But you can make it do a whole lot more if you want to add things like mods. And I'm gonna go through this and how it works. So this is the download page, it's on the Minecraft forums, just like most other things in mods and that sort. And uh, some of the things that it boasts are dynamically loading mods. So right here, it loads mods dynamically. So what it does is it doesn't actually modify the jar, the Minecraft.jar. Somehow, like I guess by magic, it actually puts the mods in the game without touching it. You don't even have to look at it. You don't have to delete the meta inf uh, folder. You don't have to do any of that. All you gotta do is select your mod and it'll be in the game. It even looks like the uh, the Minecraft launcher that uh, Notch made and you can get news from Minecraft, uh, their website, the Reddit for Minecraft, uh, Twitter for uh, Notch and Jeb and Mojang and all them, and then uh, the wiki and all that all that good stuff. And even the better thing is, he's got tons of things that he's going to add to it. Uh, auto login. Let's see. Uh, the, 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 let me read. A Minecraft font. Everyone likes Minecraft font. I love it. I use it in all my videos. But enough with that. Let's start off with how to use it. So first you're going to come here, and the link will be in the description. And you will see these three links right here. There's for Windows for Mac and for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now if you're on Windows, you click this one. If you're on Mac, you click on this one. And then if you're on, I guess, Linux, you click on this one. So a lot of you are probably going to click the Windows one. I would click the Mac one because I'm on the Mac. So it really just depends on what you have. And it's probably going to go to your Downloads folder. So let's go there. This is my Downloads folder. Okay. And so here it is, Magic Launcher. Okay, so I would unzip that, and out will come the new app called Magic Launcher. And so you'll want to click on that. So we'll open that real quick. It's going kind of slow. Okay, so this actually looks very familiar to a lot of you, uh, except for these tabs up here, and then this Setup and Options button. So this one is the same one that you would see on the normal launcher. It's all the same information. It's basically the, all that stuff copied into here. But then you can go to the Reddit and you can see funny stuff on Reddit about Minecraft and people's creations, cool stuff like that. Then you can go to uh, Notch's Twitter, Jeb's Twitter, the World of Notch, which is his uh, Tumblr website, IGN, which is you know various information about. Minecraft news and video game stuff. The Minecraft forums, which uh, I guess I think that's the front page news. So that's some more Minecraft news that Notch may not talk about. And then the Minecraft wiki, which is very useful. But I haven't. I don't really use this stuff because I go to the websites whenever I need the information. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, if you haven't already go ahead and enter in your username and password and then click remember me or you can do any anything that you want doesn't really matter and then you have setup options and login so let's start off with setup setup will open up the mod manager as you can see in this window these are all the mods that I have 
It's mod loader, too many items, mod loader MP, Minecraft Forge, Buildcraft, and Optify. Those are all the mods that I have. And so it'll tell you if it is active or not. A check means that it is in the game. And when there's a, just a blank box, it's not in the game. Pretty simple. And then there's version. I don't know if this is something that he's working on or not. Uh, but I guess in the future, like right here, it would have the 1.12 in the version box. But it doesn't right now. Uh, and then status. Status will tell you if it's okay or if there are errors. Now sometimes errors will not actually hurt anything. So in this case, uh, Minecraft Forge has two errors. So there are a couple of things that you can do. First, you can start off by testing the game. So you can see if the game is crashing, and that's an error is causing that. And uh, that's one thing you can do. The second thing you can do is you can actually move it up or down. Sometimes this will actually help things. Sometimes it won't. Um, it actually turned out when I first installed these mods, Minecraft Forge was at the bottom of the list and it had 23 errors. So all I did was move it up a few before Buildcraft and everything was fine. Game played just like it should. Now you may be wondering, how in the world do you get the mods into that window? How does a, a first time user get all these mods? In so if you just read all these buttons, you'll probably get a pretty good idea of how it works. So uh, the first one is download. Download actually takes you to your browser and it lets you download mods. And it's usually from the Minecraft forum. Because that's where most mods are. Also, it'll take you here and you can just search around and pick out mods. And when you download a mod, you're going to get a zip file. So for example, here are my, uh, I'm going to delete this real quick. Here are my zip files. These are all the ones I downloaded from Minecraft forums, and I put them into one folder so I know exactly where my mods are. And so when you have them downloaded, you click Add, and so you'll want to, you want to navigate to your folder that you have your mods in. It can be any folder, but I strongly suggest making a dedicated folder for mods. That way, that way you know exactly where they are and when you need when you need to update them put them there and everything's fine and dandy and uh, you can re-add them into the into the mod manager magic launcher so you'll want to pick one and you'll click open I've already got it in here so I won't be doing that but basically when you click open it'll show up in this window now you still want to remember the order of some mods like for example mod loader is a very basic mod it enables other mods, so you need to have it at the top of the list. But something like Optifine, that's something that the uh, creator, if I remember correctly, requested that everyone put in last. It's one of the last things you need to put in the game. So you put it at the bottom of the list. And, um, and so that's pretty much it. Uh, you can also have external mods. External mods are mods that are in the mod folder that's uh, when you navigate to uh, that Minecraft folder that everyone talks about. Uh, that's, those are the external mods, but with this you really don't need to worry about that. And so when you have all your mods, you can either press the test button, or you can go back, or click OK and go back and then just log in and it'll start playing the game. So that's all there. And then next we'll go to options. Options will just tell us a few things. It'll tell us where the actual that actual Minecraft folder that I was just talking about is. And so you can click Browse and it'll take you right to it. Uh, you can also update the launcher from here. So you can press Get Latest. It'll take you to the Minecraft forum website. And you'll want to check to make sure you have the most up-to-date version. I have the same one that's on the website, 0 0.9.0. So I don't need to worry about that. So we close. And one more thing that I forgot. Let's say that you are having errors when you're playing the game. It's crashing or whatever. So you can click View Log. And when you start the game, all this stuff, all the Java code will show up and it'll just log everything that happens. And whenever there's a, a problem, you can post this 
to to the launcher's uh, form page if it's a problem with the launcher or you can post it to the specific mod that is not working you can post it to that form page and so it has an easy copy button, clear button, close button and so it's very simple and just to prove to you that it works I'm going to log in and we'll start doing like five seconds of gameplay maybe a sneak peek to the next video if you guys really want that so it opens up the minecraft window it goes under a different name magic.launcher.launcher .launcher, at least on the mac but it's, it's the exact same thing all your saves are there there's nothing different other than that one name okay so it's taking abnormally long I promise that it works. Oh god. Please don't. Don't break on me. Hmm. It's really weird. There we go. It's probably because I have this uh, screen capture software on. Uh, taking up the memory and everything, so... Yeah, so it'll take a little longer than usual if you're doing stuff like that, but I'm sure you're not, so it's all good. So we're going to single player, and then we're going to go to this, and I'll just give you a little sneak peek of what I'm doing. It'll be really quick, like two seconds. Hmm. I think I'll show you more than this, so let's see. There's a sneak peek of what's on the right. This is very slow. And there's a sneak peek of what's on the left. Yeah, on the left. Yeah, I'll show you guys that in the next video. So stay tuned if you want to see it.